Hello there. Um, I wanted to do a quick short video thingamabob about using Stream Deck with Final Fantasy XIV uh, because um, some of my friends have been asking about how to do it and I thought I'd just do it myself rather than... because uh, I can, I can explain it. Um, and maybe some people will st stumble upon this and be like, oh man, this, actually, this is actually really cool. I have a Stream Deck, I play fourteen. I can do this. Um, loads of people use it for different reasons. Um, one of the things I do is I use it for job changing. So. Um, the purposes of this video my jobs are showing but these normally aren't showing here they're just here for now um because i use a stream deck i can just change my jobs by pressing my stream deck buttons um i want to go become a a dragoon i can go into my dps pick dragoon there he is um let the text in the middle catch up um but yeah so i use these buttons instead that i've created via stream deck so let's talk about how we do that um I'll bring up my Stream Deck thing first. So, um, yeah, this is what it currently looks like. Now, this is because of a plugin called Super Macro Bar Raider, which is available here. Now, if you click on, when you have your Stream Deck, if you click on this little uh, keyboard function up here, I should probably click that there. Um, this is the store. Opening the Stream Deck store, there'll be like a, a, a page for plugins, and they're just free plugins. Um, go to the Stream Deck store and just put in super macro and it should say by bar raider and then you can get this in play and install it onto your stream deck um, and then what you can do is you can create different super macros so what i'm going to do here is grab this bad boy and pull it over to a, an empty spot we can create a brand new macro um, and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a replication of my dark knight macro so shift control one um so how are we going to do that? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to this little box here. I'm also going to make this bigger. So sorry, Felix. Goodbye, mate. Um, so just so you can see, see this a little bit, bit better. I'm going to open this and start this by using a squiggly bracket. So um, not a square one. So not, not one of those square ones, not one of those regular ones, but a squiggly bracket. That opens the entire macro. Now, each individual input needs to be surrounded by squiggly brackets. So it's going to be shift or control shift one, right? So we have one squiggly bracket to open the whole the whole uh, macro then another one control close that right then we're going to open another one shift close that and then one is going to be my dark knight now i've closed that one the reason i'm stopping at this point is to explain something is that if you don't close the entire macro with those squiggly brackets you're not going to get the macro completed and there's a reason you know that it's completed I'm going to close this macro with one final squiggly bracket and the whole thing goes purple. This means that you have successfully inputted a, a macro. Control shift one is going to work, right? Now, before I continue, I'm going to quickly hide this and show you what happens if you just go with that. If you just put in the control shift one, right? So now I'm going to press that button and I'm going to ask you to watch over here where jolt is, okay? That macro is just pressing one. It's not pressing control shift one yet yet let's go back to stream deck okay and let's scroll down so on this little super macro um section scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see these three options secondary enter behavior forced macro mode and delayed key down mode the way i do it is i click on delayed key down mode and forced macro mode now i'm gonna go and uh quickly now press that macro as it stands we're changing into a dark knight so what this does essentially is that the delayed key down mode and forced macro mode rather than making it all three buttons makes it a sequence of bosh 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 control shift one being pressed together as a macro otherwise it's just going to press one so by making sure that it's in forced macro mode and delayed key down mode it'll press all three together and create your key bindings and you can do this for anything you can see that there's one here that that says teleport i'm that lazy have a teleport button <laughs> so i could just go over here and click it there but that's just too much effort when i can just press that one um don't ask i, I don't know um and what you can also do is you can see there, there you can also make them quite special so every single button that you can create on stream deck obviously has this option here click on the little arrow and then go to set from file and if you just grab like go onto the internet and find each of the job icons download those job icons and you can choose whatever one you want select it and now I've got two buttons that make Dark Knight. And they're both, as you can see, Control shift one Control shift one And this one as well that I used earlier has the two things in, delay, in delayed, delayed key mode and um, 
effects and forced macro mode. And that forces you to be able to do that. All those buttons you press become different jobs can be done by that. Remember, squiggly brackets to close out the entire macro and each individual press surrounded by squiggly brackets. And there you should have your ability to change into whatever job you want. Or press any button. You can use items. You can use, um, I don't know, duty actions, whatever. Um, cool. Summon your chocobo. Summon your fairy if you're playing scholar. Um, but any, any key binding you have, you can put into a super macro via stream deck. Um, I hope that helps. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and enjoy Endwalker. Enjoy Final Fantasy XIV-ing. Um, I'll see you out there. Cheers.